So yesterday we did some Diamond Dynasty. We did a debut on the finest Jeff McNeil. It'll be in the top right hand corner. If you guys enjoy Diamond Dynasty, go give it a watch. Thumbs up if you do enjoy it and you want to see more of it. But today we're back on franchise and we're doing the rookie super team, which this team is actually going to be pretty good. We're going to do two seasons so we can let them develop a little bit and kind of get to like an MLB level compared to like all the other super teams that we've done i definitely missed out on some of the rookies so in the comment section down below let me know who you guys would have done that i missed out on because there were some really close choices that i really wish i could have gotten into the team other than that guys if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content make sure you turn on bell notification icons to be notified whenever a video does go live in the description are all my social media links twitter instagram that stuff and then other than that, guys, if you guys need tickets for any sort of event at all, go to SeatGeek, use the code Antortiz for $20 off. Let's get into the video. So like I said, we are going to do two seasons so that we can kind of get these rookies up to like the super team level that the rest of the players, you know, are the rest of the super teams that we've done. So let me show you this roster of rookies that I've assembled. We went with Soroka. Kikuchi, Paddock, John Means, Dakota Hudson, and then Jesus Lazardo. There definitely are a bunch of other starting pitchers that had some pretty like decent years, some pretty solid seasons. Merrill Kelly was one of them from the Diamondbacks, and there were a couple other starting pitchers that I definitely could have gone with. But these were some of the better ones that I like saw based on their seasons. And I didn't realize Dakota Hudson had that good of a year this year until I was looking through some rookie stats. So that was a name that I didn't really see throughout the year, but he had a pretty good season. Giovanni Gallegos, Nick Anderson, Jairo Diaz, Andres Munoz, Ty Butchery, and Yoan Lopez are gonna be our relievers. And then one of those starters is gonna be the long reliever. There's actually some, there really weren't too, actually, there, yeah, there's some decent relief pitchers, but there's not a lot of them that were like good. So this was kind of like the best bunch of relief pitchers that were rookies this year. And I figured we should just probably go with them. No closers, but we'll keep moving forward. At catcher, not too many good catchers in baseball that were rookies this year. A lot of them I felt underperformed, but these were two that were kind of at the higher end of performance for catchers. Will Smith from the Dodgers and Williams at Studio. First base, it was a pretty obvious one. Pete Alonso and Jordan Alvarez. Second base, there were so many I could have gone with. Michael Chavis, Keston Hura, um, Luis Arias. We had another one that I missed out on was... Um, there was there's just a bunch of them. There was a lot of good second basemen, a lot of good shortstops this year. So there were some, some names I had to leave out. We went with Vlad at third. Shortstop, we went with Tatis, Bichette and Kevin Newman. Kevin Newman for the Pirates had a phenomenal year. Really good year this year. Left field, we went with Brian Reynolds, Eloy Jimenez, um, some names, and then Mike Yastrzemski. Some names I forgot for shortstop. We could have went with Edmund, Nico Horner, um, Castro for the Tigers actually had a good year. Um, we have Oscar Mercado in center, and then we don't really have a other left or a right fielder because we have so many left fielders we could have added verdugo we could have added robles there's so many rookies that i missed out on but i went with some that had the best years this year so we're gonna kind of leave it there so some of these potentials were around c i'll probably bump them up to like a, a mid b so that they can actually develop a little bit but actual overalls i'll probably leave them as is because i feel like they're pretty pretty good where they are now i just feel like their potential should be a little bit better i'll probably mess with the lineup a little bit as well just to kind of make it a little 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 stronger maybe put your don somewhere in here at the dh spot just to have a little a lefty bat since we are very limited on those lefty bats but we'll see what we can do see what we can come up with but um that's really what i wanted to mention was there i think there were two players with c potential i'll bump those up to at least a b and we'll see how the rest of the players develop so like i said two year super team let's see how it goes this was another reason that i wanted to do the two year super team for the rookies because I figured the first one would be a little bit rough, especially since the pitchers are not the greatest. So 76 and 86. Let's just go take a look at how things went. So lineups wise, um, Brian Reynolds struggled, which is I'm, I'm a little confused about because his hitting stats are really good. But uh, Vlad Jr. did well. Pete Alonso did well. Jordan Alvarez did well. Tatis was a little bit on the downside, which is interesting. 
um, looking at like the bench and stuff, I can see, okay, so he didn't always start, which that's not how I had the lineup set up. So I'm gonna have to like always double check the lineups. But for the most part, it looks like there were some ups, some downs, some players did well, some players did poorly, but I'm more interested to see, especially season two, um, just so that we can get a better indication of how this team would just would be how they would perform because like i mentioned i figured it would be a little rough the first year some players actually did really well in the bullpen i was pretty surprised by that awards i'm assuming is going to be rookie of the year but um yeah so let's take a look we are ranked ninth which isn't bad pitching is our week our weak part but um that's that's season one i'm i'm a little interested to see how season two plays out i'll see you guys there all right so this is the real season to test out this rookies super team we'll check a look we'll, we'll We'll check a look. We'll take a look at the lineup just to kind of get an idea of what they're looking like after a year. So as you can see, most of the players are pretty high overall. Jordan Alvarez is really the only one that's not an 80. Probably should be higher overall. But like I said, I wanted to kind of leave everything how it was and just let them develop as is. On the bench, we got some really good options. I mean, like everyone's almost an 80 besides Estudio and Jordan Alvarez. We probably even should have Will Smith starting just because he is probably the better catcher over at Studio. But for the most part, the team looks really good. It looks really scary offensively. When you take a look at the pitching rotation, I feel like this is a really strong bullpen and starting rotation as is. So who knows what's gonna happen? This could be kind of like a, just a crazy team that performs really, really well, or it's gonna be the opposite where they perform really, really poorly. So who knows what's gonna happen? Let's submit, let's see how this super team for the rookies plays out. All right, so simming through this entire season, I didn't think we were making the postseason. I thought this team would have been a dud, but we actually snuck in there as a wild card team at 90 and 72. So whew, we actually made it in as I smack my mic as usual. So we missed out on the division by one game. We're ranked third in the majors, which is actually pretty impressive pretty impressed by that like we're actually really highly rated league leaders kikuchi was the league leader there let's take a look at not mlb records team rankings just to see if we kind of snuck in anywhere um fourth for at bats Ooh, something pretty cool there uh we were there for runs we're kind of sitting in the middle for a lot of things like just based on you know i'm not seeing a lot of okay home runs home runs we're up there what about rbis Kind of in the middle. Nothing for stolen bases. Okay. Caught stealing a lot, uh, apparently. And then when we look at the rest, I guess just kind of sitting in the middle for everything. So pitching rotation, Soroka, high ERA, high whip, Paddock, same thing. Um, Kikuchi did well. John Means did well. And then Dakota Hudson had himself an amazing season, stats-wise. Lazardo was meh. Munoz meh, Butchery did well, Yoan Lopez was meh, Jairo, Lop or Jairo Diaz was okay, Nick Anderson was very good, and Giovanni Gallegos was good as well. So for the pitching, it was kind of hit or miss. You either did really well or very poorly. Um, yikes, Oscar Mercado struggled. Fernando Tatis did a lot better than he did last year. Vlad Jr. is still kind of sitting like in a disappointing range. I'm expecting like 30 plus home runs a season from him at this point. Uh, Pete Alonso, I'm expecting more home runs, but average and RBIs aren't terrible. Jordan Alvarez is getting better. Bo Bichette did very well. Eloy Jimenez did very well. Brian Reynolds had a great year. I might actually make him our leadoff hitter going forward just so that we don't have to uh, worry about a guy not getting on base. And then maybe even let Mike Yastrzemski hit for Mercado because... That might be the move. That might be the move going forward. But when we take a look at the rest of the team, I think the team's doing well. Will Smith did pretty poorly. Uh, Kesson Hira did well, uh, did bad. Astudio did bad. And Kevin Newman wasn't terrible. But it's, it's looking like, again, you either did well or you did poorly, which is not good. So it's like some players just really had to carry the, the, uh, the team. So we're taking on the Yankees. One game playoff. One game elimination, Yankee Stadium. I feel like we go with the hot hand. Dakota Hudson did well, but let's go with Soroka. See how things go. We have our lineup there, and let's 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 just win a game. All right, let's just not get knocked out very first go around. So 
pretty boring so far nothing's happened all right we get a run and we get three more from a home run thanks to pete alonzo it's a four run game i'll take that we're taking on luis severino so at any time you know we could uh you know go stale again offensively and then when we're going against the lineup of the they got ground all to the lineup of the yankees let me finish my sentence first it's it could explode at any time. I mean, their, their team is stacked. They also have Reese Hoskins. And uh, Soroka actually gets out of that jam, allowing only one run. So, so far, so good. And uh, they bring in Adavino. All right. Soroka is still pitching well. But um, I was going to say, if he allows one more runner, I was going to let him exit. So, base is loaded. Two run score. Let's go to... Um someone that can get us out of that inning and it is a one run game so i thought things were going well but like i said anything can change as i say that brian reynolds goes deep so our leadoff hitter who i just made our leadoff hitter did very well and sack fly we're not gonna let the lefty go we're gonna go to do i go to nick anderson now i feel like i kind of have to right and we get out of that jam so we still have a two now we got a four run lead thanks to Pete Alonzo. He's having himself a day. And um, eighth inning, Nick Anderson gave us those like what? An inning and a third there. I'll take that for sure. And then we have a four run lead still. Make that a six run lead. And I think that that should be good enough to uh, move us to the next round of the playoffs. And it will be good enough. And we're taking on the Astros. Nice. All right. So Paddock is up. We take a loss okay kikuchi gets us a win though john means gets us the loss and then if we lose this we're done so comes down to this but i'm actually impressed with this team this team has some fight in it i like it kaufman for the game today do we go with soroka or do we go to hudson you know what hudson pitched really well during the year so let's let's see how that goes so looking at their lineup no oh justin smokes and jason castro are two new additions but Outside of that, it looks like a pretty standard Astros lineup. Obviously, we have Jordan there, so that kind of takes away one offensive weapon that the Astros normally would have. But um, pretty quiet game so far. Two hits total. All right, four hits now. Can we bring in this run? We do. That is huge so far. Two run bomb. Oh, man. I was hoping Hudson can get us through this inning. It's not going to happen. All right, we're going to go to Lazardo. Hopefully, he gets us out of it. He does. It's a two to one ball game. We need to get that run back soon, like quickly, like really quickly. Please. All right, we didn't allow a run there. That was big. Runner was thrown out. Oh, man. Um, hmm. Maybe Diaz here. All right, there we go. One, two, three innings. Still down a run. We got a man on second with one out. Can Jimenez do something? No, he can't. And uh, base is loaded for Altuve. We're going to go to Anderson. He's been really reliable for us. He gets us out of it. So we got two more innings to get a run. All right, that's a good start. We got a guy in second with no outs. First and second, one out. Come on. Base is loaded for Vlad Jr. And he brings in one. We get another one thanks to Jordan Alvarez. And we have a one-run lead. We're going to go to Gallegos. Hopefully, he can close this out. Please, 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 please. Why, why does it have to do, do me dirty like that? We are down one now, thanks to the double by Mercado. Runner was thrown out. Oh, that was two times we had runners going home that get thrown out and we are eliminated just like that. It was a, that was actually a pretty hard fought game right there. I'm actually not disappointed at all. That was a pretty good game from a bunch of players who are what two years in the league. Pretty good. And as a really good team already. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the rookies super team. Again, it wasn't an amazing team, but they did make the postseason. I was kind of thinking we weren't going to make the postseason, but they did it. 
Obviously, it was a two-year one instead of a one-year one, but it was still pretty cool to see how these players develop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, in the comment section down below, let me know which players you would have put in that were rookies this year that I didn't put in. Like, I know I mentioned a few that I really wanted to throw in here, but unfortunately, I did not. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. Make sure you turn on all bell but notification icons so you're notified whenever a video does go live. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.